Good evening, everybody. You all know me. You know me, Joseph Stefan Pullen. I want to speak this out loud for those who don't know how to read in English. Okay? You know, I've been sober for 15 years now. But this Labor Day weekend, 2017, I decided to get drunk. Wow, what a difference. I also decided it's time for me to ruin my career. I don't get paid nearly enough to work for the work that I do. And that's a fact. More so, we are from America. And on both sides, the states, you believe in God. And in Canada, we believe in the supremacy of God. So this is a Christian land. The only religion allowed in America is Christianity. Everything else is called breaking the peace and causing a disturbance. Of course, you have the human right to believe what you want. And you can be really stupid and rub the belly of a wooden Buddha thinking it will bring you good luck. But technically, you do not have the right to parade about it. It's not a peaceful assembly to parade such stupid things. Like the homosexuals. God says love is shared between a man and a woman. It does not take a high school diploma to know the difference. It's actually illegal for you all to parade about it. In America, these are facts. Disturbing the peace is more than making loud noise. It's about breaking the values and morals of those who made America, America, on both sides. You can say what you want, but those are real facts. You know, I've been thinking, and even in my case, I feel... It's pretty far-fetched for America to stand for what's right. Yet, they tell our children that's what they do. You have Canada who swears by oath that the infringement of human rights are to be compensated. Yet, I feel I have more chance to win the 649 or even get hit by the next five French planes right here in my house then I see Canada settling my matter. There's nothing I can do about it. There's nothing I can do about the fact that I watched my first biological daughter get murdered. There is nothing I can do about the fact that we have been through three presidents and three prime ministers since the beginning of my lawsuit. There is nothing I can do about speeding things up at all. But what if all this procrastination brings on my death? It would turn out to be an involuntary manslaughter. But then will you have a party with the money that's supposed to help me get home and raise my own children? If so, please have a beer on me. I think to be a polite little dog, as the French have taught me, politician, its French meaning means being a polite little dog. I would only have one question. We have morals. We have values. Yet, we seem to have to accept the worst of the worst. It's about time I speak out. It's about time you realize what's really happening. You can laugh all you want, but that won't, that won't make you smarter and it won't help your process of achieving what it is you are after. Pain and suffering deserves compensation, yet I watch insurance companies throw the case out of court. I seen people who broke their arms, healed in four weeks, in a car accident and received a hundred grand. 
I was insured for two million dollars and spent two years in a wheelchair and will have to spend the rest of my life with physical pain I can hardly bear. Hit by a drunk driver. Not only did they compensate me nothing, they let the guilty man go free. I think if you want to make America better again, And this is my thought. But if you want to make America better, you will have to look inside each and every one. All of you. Not just me, not just the politicians, everyone. And stop living double standards. Why would you take the law into your own hands when clearly it is illegal to do so? Why would you punish an innocent man over and over and over again just for kicks? Seriously, it's not funny to kick a horse after he's down on the ground already. You spend millions of dollars teaching the children right and teaching the children that we all do it right. Yet, not many are doing it right. That is double standard. You tell us, and this the African man will appreciate. America says the days of slavery is over. Why are we, and in my case, me, having to work 44 hours a week and receiving less than normal salaries? Why can't I even afford a house or put gas in my car even after working 44 hours a week in a field I graduated university from and have 30 years of experience in? Why? Those shelters and food banks are to help those in need, not really there for the hard-working man. The one working should have at least enough to pay for his own place and put gas in his own car, even be able to buy a bicycle for his son. It's double standards. You spend so much time and money wasting it, thinking global warming, yet last year was the longest, coldest winter in our history. It's September 4th today, and it's already freezing weather out there. Double standards. You spend so much time and money wasting it, building and testing bombs, what the hell are you so afraid of? Why are globally, we are globally friends with every country on the planet? Do you actually think someone, someone, one man could or would have the power to bomb anyone out? And your stupid answer is bomb us, we'll bomb you. Double standard. Ignorance. Indulge me. One of the world's smartest men alive right here in front of you on this camera. Knowing quite well, I can't do anything about it. Nor will I. Indulge me. And the rest of the world. With how we could solve problems we have right here at home. Only an idiot would think we could be under invasion by aliens. Unless you're a child, but even children learn and mature. Indulge the world, and instead of procrastinating and waiting for my death, help me go home. Cheers. Enjoy your cornrows and beer tonight. There's a pretty cool football game as well. Some of us still have to show up for work in the morning. But I tell you, America will not be as great as America was until America does the right thing. Peace out.